Rude. Hey, I, I'm, I already yeah. side with Michelle. Yeah, let that be the last time we do. Just say rude. We know she says it long and loud, but it's a lot. You've said it like 20 times. She says it just like that. I, we get it. If I do something that Michelle finds to be socially unacceptable. Don't do it. Don't do it. She says it's rude. She, she okay. just says rude like that. Hey, Michelle, are you awake? I think Michelle was up late last night. I went to, we usually go to bed at the same time. But last night, I I hit it early. I went to sleep early last night. I don't even know what time Michelle went to bed. I know she's working on a whole bunch. She's got a bunch of little projects going on. What's early for you, especially with this new time change? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at the clock. It's suddenly 1145. And I'm yeah. like, I got to go to bed yeah. now. Early for me, last night, I climbed into bed at 1115. Yeah. And I think I was asleep by about 1130. You know what I hate about this time change, too, is like not only do I stay up later, but then for some reason I'm waking up an hour before my alarm goes off. It's just like my body is so screwed up from it. Yeah, Michelle, serious. are you awake? Uh, I know typically I would just call you, but I'm being I'm being courteous. I'm being considerate. Unrude is what you're being. Right. So, Michelle, if you are awake and you're listening to the show right now, just send me a text because I'd love for the audience to, to hear you say, rude. All right, this is what happened, and this is why Michelle thinks. Are you mumbling under your breath, breath again? I said, boy, this better be rude. The point is, I don't think it's rude. Well, what is that? And I want, what, well, who gonna, do I side with? I'm going to tell you. All right, Michelle and I, we kind of worked around the house uh, last Saturday. We we cleaned out the garage. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're like halfway on the garage, so uh, we can just kind of neaten things up. The garage has collected a lot of stuff. So, you know, late in the afternoon, I said to Michelle, you know what? Let's just grab something quick. We have no dinner plans. Yeah, last weekend was great. We had no dinner plans, you know, Friday or Saturday night. You know, typically, you know, you got a, a whole rotation of friends who, listen, I like being with, but we had a rare weekend where we had like no plans. So Friday night, we just kind of hung out. We watched uh, movies at the house. Uh, Saturday, we worked around the house. That's cool. And uh, I said to Michelle, you know what? Let's let's just pop up and, and grab a, a, a quick light pizza at Colony. So listen, I'm a Colony fan. Everyone knows I'm a, I'm a pizza nut. And yeah, I, I don't care that Dave Portnoy was in town. I don't think he's a good guy. I'm not a fan. Um, but, and I don't like his, uh, his sordid history. But uh, I said to Michelle, Let's let's hop up to a colony. Love a, a colony pie. Colony is a bar pie, and you know they have a location in Midtown, and they have a location in in St. Pete. And uh, also, I'll give you the details on the, the their uh, charity run, which is happening at the end of the month, uh, which uh, you can sign up for their five k and ten k. Uh, I'll give you those details in a second. So we we just pop in a colony and we grab their Stamford, Connecticut, thin, crispy bar pie. Great little pizza. And this was about 6 o'clock, 6.10. Roll in. They're very fast. Michelle and I, uh, we both devoured our pizzas. And I said to Michelle, hey, I want to stop at uh, the store. I want to grab some brown cow yogurts. I'm a huge fan of brown cow yogurts. And I, I still don't know why Publix doesn't carry brown cow uh, you know, I have to go to Whole Foods, uh, Sprouts, or Rollin' Oats. Right. Those are the stores that carry brown cow. And I love the cherry vanilla brown cow yogurt. And in fact, when I go to the stores, that's I, I, clearly this show has had an effect. Because when I go, uh, a lot of times there are very few or they're sold out of the brown cow cherry vanillas. And clearly, it's because of uh, this show and my love for that product that I've discussed it numerous times. Yes. So we're at Midtown. I'm like, you know what? Uh, let's go to Rollin' Oats. Rollin' Oats is up at uh, like McDill and Cypress. Yeah. They also have one in St. Pete. And they have the brown cow yogurts at Rollin' Oats. And it's like 6.50. We're done with our pizza. You know, enjoying a little conversation. We we had our delicious pizzas at uh, at Colony Grill Midtown, and I'm like, we're only three minutes away or so from Rolling Oats at Cypress and MacDill, and 
I said to Michelle, uh, let me see what time they close, and it's 7 o'clock. So Saturday night, they closed at 7 o'clock, mm. right? And it is 6.48. I'm like, all right, we'll be there by 6.52, 6.53. And Michelle says, no, that's rude. I'm like, what? And she goes, rude! I'm like, well, hold on. What's rude? Walking in just before closing in Michelle's book is rude. I'm like, what? So Michelle thinks if they close at 7 p.m., that me walking in at 6.50, 6.52, 6.53, that that is rude. Oh, my God. Is that, Fester, is that rude? They're, they're hours. You should be, as a customer, be able to go in there anytime up until closing. So I think it's... Is that rude? I think it's rude if you went there to do your entire week's shopping at 6.59. But if you're running in for something and you're mm-hmm. going to be three to five minutes, no, they have time. They build in time for customers to get out of the store. I walked in for one <laughs> yeah. thing, to buy all of the brown cow cherry vanilla yogurts in the dairy section and I mean, literally, I had a, like an argument with Michelle. She didn't want to go. No, we're not going. I mean, I, 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 I was driving, so I went. But <laughs> I, mean, I held her captive in the car while she had no choice. I duct taped her to the seat. I mean, was she gonna walk uh, home? I mean, but come on, is that rude? That's not rude. I think that Michelle is such a considerate person. However, I think if it was, it would be rude if the hours were we close at six fifty four. Then it would be rude. I mean, the hours are open till yeah, seven. Yeah, it's open until seven. You open till seven. Uh, is that a problem? If I'm going, I, I have a destination. I'm going right back to the dairy section. I'm going to put all of the brown cow cherry vanilla yogurts in my cart and check out. Uh, by the way, Michelle just texted me. You want to hear how Michelle says rude? Hey, listen to this. All right, calling uh, Michelle at home. Can you say it? Rude! <laughs> okay. Thank you. I like how she you says it better than you. You know what it is? Because you were so rude. It wasn't one thing. You went in to buy like 24 of them. But if- You have a tendency <laughs> to go into some place, and if they don't have what you want on the shelf, then you hunt down the employee. You ask them if they don't mind, would you mind check it in the back if you got some more of this? And I could just <laughs> see the whole thing turning into like a 20-minute yogurt run that you were like, oh, I'm just running in to get one thing. That's they, not you. They That's had you like know? 14 of them on the shelf. I bought. I, I'm not rude. Why, why do you think if a store has opening hours and they're open until 7 p.m., why is it rude to walk in at 6.52? Because it's you. Michelle, <laughs> you know what happened? You know what happened? Probably like at 6.30, the stock guy, the stock boy, the stock girl. <laughs> Probably just refilled all the yogurt so it'd be perfect for the morning. Right. They they call. I think they call it fronting, where they pull all the mm-hmm. the boxes yeah. up to they the line it up. Yeah. You know? So they don't want to sell. They want their shelves to look pretty mm-hmm. and not sell the items on their shelf. Is that your the bottle in your store, Fester? Listen, I'm is just that, is that your store business model? I'm just telling you the uh, the work that went into it. Oh, and you... I just made the shelves look nice, and here comes <laughs> this guy buying it all, and now there's an empty slot. It's like someone got their tooth punched out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Like, yeah. Right here. A middle tooth. Just knock that right I mean, there in cherry vanilla. Michelle, the the things that trouble you or the things that you... Oh, it didn't trouble me except that I was duct taped to the seat of the car. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, you were captive. <laughs> you know I'm duct taped to the bed right now. Uh, I know. I'm not able to get out of here until he gets home. <laughs> that, is, that is not rude. I told you about time A locks. store has hours open till 7 p.m., you can walk in <laughs> up yes, until yes. seven. Any other any other customer can walk in, but you. So rude would be right. going to the butcher after they've cleaned the entire meat section and ask for specialty cuts. They're We're closing in two minutes. That's They're it. not going to do that. And guess what? I've been at a deli or at a supermarket or I've been at a meat uh, section at a supermarket when, you know, you ask for something and they say, no, sorry, uh, you were closed. It's happened. I don't yeah. throw well, a, I don't throw a tantrum. Well, I don't, you. I don't, what? 
Yes, you do. I do not. <laughs> yes, you what do. happens when the store closes and you have people still in the store? It's not like everybody gets automatically ejected. I'm curious if people who are cashiers have an expectation that if we close at 7, we can anticipate our last person coming through at 7.05. What? No. I don't know. They, they typically will close the door or they'll lock the door. The point is, is that stores that have uh, a supermarket, for instance, let's say they close at uh, 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock, whatever it is, that they typically will not let people in past the closing time. They'll let people out, obviously. But if you're in the store, it's built into the expectations. Yeah. It's built into the hours. Just because the store closes at 7, it doesn't mean that at 7 p.m. they shut off the lights, the employees race to the parking lot, get in their cars, and haul ass out of there. No. I mean, c- clearly, if the store closes if the store closes at 7 p.m., the employees know that they've got wind-down time. They have customers. They'll make it out later. Ladies and gentlemen, hang on a minute. Let me get my uh, get my megaphone over here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just uh, noticed that uh, we're closing in 15 minutes at eight o'clock. I mean, that's the kind of thing that they do. Yeah. They'll, they'll make an announcement. So at a supermarket, they know that you got to have the customers, the stragglers, or the folks that are still time for them to get to the checkout lanes. Check them out. Just because a store has a, a post at hours of 7 p.m., it doesn't mean that everyone's going, walking out at 7 p.m. They know that there's residual and wind down, whether it's Target, whether it's Walmart, a super, whatever, Michelle. It's not It's not rude. So I, Michelle did not want me to go at 10 minutes to 7 when they closed. Michelle didn't want me to go because she thought it was rude. I think my whole overall, like, uh, issue is that you are a rude person. No, I'm and I mean, you yeah. see you running in yeah. there and being like grabbing other things and whatever, and you also are the worst about time. So why didn't you just say like, oh, let's leave a few minutes earlier so we can get to the grocery store before they close? Instead of, it was literally you pulled into that parking lot at like 654. All right, Michelle, Michelle, what? let's play a scenario out. MJ walks into the store. You're duct taped. Oh my taped. god, I don't want to play that. Scenario. MJ walks into the store. He mm-hmm. makes it back, still sub seven o'clock, to the section where the yogurt is. MJ, there is no yogurt in your flavor. What's the flavor? It's brown cow right. cherry vanilla. Okay, there's no brown cow cherry vanilla. Do right. you a turn around and walk out to the car, or yes. do you stop somebody? Can no, I do- walk out. I would, I would, yeah, I would probably yeah. walk out yeah. as well and say, oh, oh, I'll come back again later. No. Or, okay, what well, do not- you do? If I see somebody, I'll say, hey, do you oh, have. No. Okay, that's no, 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 no. <laughs> If you see somebody that you've hunted down who's like, who's trying to get out on a Saturday night at seven o'clock, they have a hot date, they want to go home and get a shower and go have a, you know, a meal with their girlfriend right. or boyfriend. Also, the strawberry, the blueberry, the raspberry, the peach, there are other good flavors, but I, I cherry vanilla is my favorite. Hey, Michelle, hold on a sec. Chip. Chip is calling in from Thinota Sassa. I wasn't going to take calls on this, or I'm not going to solicit calls, but uh, if you know, folks are calling in. Chip, uh, Thinota Sassa, good morning, Chip. What's going on? Hey, how are you? Doing well. Go ahead. Well, as I was telling... Froggy or whoever answers the phone there. That was uh, Andrew. Froggy called in sick today. Yeah, Andrew, yeah. I'm shocked at this information. What's Go that, ahead. Chip? <laughs> I worked at a major grocery store in Maine for three or four years. Was it Hannaford? Store- yes, sir. Hey. That's, that's the only one, I think. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, it is. It is, unless you want to travel 50 miles to go to Walmart. All right. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> so anyway, what the stores allow for a half an hour... The, the closing time is set. The doors lock at 7 o'clock. Yep. But you're allowed to walk into the store at 6.59. They allow a half an hour for that customer to do their shopping. Yep. And then they will announce, please finish your shopping. We are closing up. All right. So, Chip, with my wife on the line, me walking in to get yogurt at 6.54 for a 7 o'clock close as a former grocery store employee, do you think I was rude? <laughs> No, sir, I do not. I think he was getting your shopping done. I don't know if I trust somebody from Maine. Oh, shut up, Fester. Who worked at a grocery store. What do you mean? You don't tr- get out of here. The guy worked 50 miles from the Walmart. It's <laughs> not exactly the reality uh, I live in. Chip, thanks. <laughs> I, mean, I love Th- you, Chip. Thanks but- for the call, Chip. All 
Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, have a great day. All right, so, Michelle, you just My heard... My overall message to you is that you're a part-time manager because yes. think about this. Yes. How many times in the course of the morning show from 6 to 10 are you going to say, running late, running late? How could you possibly be running late? You have a watch there that keeps the time. You know what time you're supposed to be talking and not talking. You know what time you're supposed to be playing your songs and your commercials. Everything is organized for you, and yet you are still running late. That's rude. Because rude. This, <laughs> rude with the time. this is a spontaneous show, and things happen, things develop. We go off on time. we go off on unplanned little uh, you know discussions. Things develop I like mini adventures. Yeah, little mini adventures. Yeah. Exactly. Supports the right. sports time manager, and that was my message to you on Saturday: is that that was rude of you to not calculate the time, so that you were not going to be in the store past the closing time. All right. uh, goodbye, Michelle. You just heard from a supermarket worker who says I was not rude. Yeah. Supermarket. I was a worker. I was a bank teller, and I know what it's like when you have people running in at the last minute, and we do service them. We service everybody that comes in. That is correct. But when you're trying to count out and get your work done that you can get out of there at the end of the day, I think that sometimes when you, when it's MJ, it's rude to run into the last minute. All right, so, Michelle, what would the acceptable time be? So if the store closed at 7, so 6.54 to run in and get one item. It wasn't one item. It was the it was multiple of the same exactly. item. I, I so consider that, it the see, same. That's what you're doing. Right. You're trying to recharacterize your purchase into one item. <laughs> you could you you probably could have even go through the quick lane with what you had because you probably had too many of that. You one had item. over ten mm-hmm. items. You're right. You had to uh, wait in the regular who, who line. Right. Pays attention to that crap. Come on. Oh uh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Rude. Rude. That's rude. rude. That is rude. 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 Alert. Rude. 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 Hey, guess what, Michelle? I just found something. This is crazy yeah. that this just happened. This just came across my desk. A story about your, a debate. Well, your desk? You just, <laughs> just came across <laughs> your <my> desk? desk. <laughs> it's for my countertop that we lean on. <laughs> my this, news center. <laughs> this news bulletin just came across. <laughs> just came across my desk. <laughs> We're right. throwing it out to Roxanne Wilder in the news center to give us the latest. Roxanne, what do we know? Okay. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on. <laughs> this is a news bulletin from the American Contemporary Radio Network. Yes, Roxanne, what is the news bulletin? What just came across? This is a news flash. Flash! News flash! Just handed to me. Yes, what, what is it? You would not believe the type of behavior that's being debated around the country in grocery stores. What? Is this acceptable behavior in a grocery store? You've seen it done to an avocado, but have you seen it done to a blueberry? Is it acceptable to squeeze blueberries? Do we need to draw the line at blueberries? MJ, you are a blueberry squeezer. I am. I, I oh, blueberry I think, and I think pe- that's the rudest thing, too. He opens up all the containers and pinches all the fruit. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, people are buying that. All right, hold on. All right, no, hang on. First of all. You're a fruit uh, pincher. I, I, <laughs> is that heartbreaker? <laughs> You're a <laughs> fruit pincher. Late shopper. All right. Yes. Thank Great you, fondler. <laughs> Don't you mess around with me. You're a fruit squeezer. Girl pleaser. Whoa, hey. Uh, <laughs> well, I can't go that far. <laughs> oh, hey, All right. So, yes. And I was at Publix checking out the blueberries. With la- your fingers. La- mm-hmm. Yes. And guess what? I use the sanitizing wipes at the <sighs> at the uh, entrance to the store. I use those alcohol wipes. My hands are clean. I clean the handles. And, yes, blueberries... If they are soft and mushy, they suck. I'm not going to spend, you know, five bucks on a tub of blueberries if I don't test them out. Yeah, they've got to be absolutely firm. They need to snap when you bite them. They need to have a little crunch to them. I'm not buying uh, mushy blueberries. So, yes, I will touch the blueberries. I'll feel some on top. I'll feel some in the middle. I'll dig to the bottom. How about this? Why don't you just open up that uh, package of potato chips and make sure they're not all crunched up Uh-oh. inside? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good time. That's right. right. Goodbye, Michelle. Right. Why don't you stir your yogurt and make sure there's enough fruit yeah. on the bottom? Right. Goodbye. Yeah. Thank you, Roxanne. Yeah. I'll see you later. Bye, right. rude man. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, rude man. Great. Look up in the sky. It's a oh, it's a rude man. People all say right. MJ is a short no. rude man. Oh, <laughs> great. People just no, know it. No, that's yeah. that's Fester's yeah. jingle.
Uh, Fester's the large, rude man. Hold on, where's where's Where the Fester that? jingle? He's, oh, it's right over here. People say Fester is a large, rude man. There you go. And of course, Roxanne. Come see the psycho side of Roxanne. So you're telling me that you just saw a story about, yeah. is it acceptable to fondle the produce at the supermarket? Yes, people are debating it online mm. in a TikTok video, of course, your favorite. Oh my God, stop with TikTok, please. A woman posted a TikTok video after she watched a lady open up a container and start squeezing the blueberries. She did it with two more tubs before she finally picked one. Yes! So really, these shopper blueberry squeezers are actually... the this. Cashier, or excuse me, the people who work at the grocery store should keep their eye on the blueberry squeezers because I guess what you're saying is, oh, if you squeeze a if you squeeze a blueberry and it's no good, you may as well just get rid of that batch. So it's right? gonna, it's going to be like the old uh, Mr. Whipple. Please don't squeeze the Charmin. Yeah. How can you resist? Please don't squeeze the blueberries. Mm-hmm. First of all, I do not squeeze them and pinch them and ruin the product. I, in a very gentle fashion. Can with my, the soft pads of my fingertips just touch, put a little pressure. I do not screw with the integrity oh, of the fruit. You're a light touch pincher. I'm a, a light li- touch yes. pincher. I do not screw with the integrity of the fruit. I'm not squeezing or crushing. I'm just feeling and at 100%. Uh, I would get along very well with the lady that was seen uh, pinching uh, or just testing out the blueberries. 